for the party we're having today. Yay! Today at the park, I met this really cool girl and I let her go in front of me on the slide. Then I invited her to the party. And yesterday, I saw Miss Kathy Sue. So I invited her to the party. I know chocolate is her favorite flavor. So I made some super special chocolate cupcakes with chocolate frosting. Yummy. And today at school, I saw one of my friends wearing a super cool jacket. I told her I loved it, and then I invited her to the party. So, I got some special streamers to match her jacket. Woo! Where should I put these? Ooh, ooh. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ooh, ooh. Doing things for your friends, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Helping others shows love. It's true. There are more ways to show love, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. I'm Luis the Handyman. There. Now it should work. 
My Aunt Sheila is coming home from the hospital after she broke her hip. And I thought she could use one of these reach or grabber things. <laughs> See, you drop something. And you don't need to bend down to get it. The reach or grabber will get it for you. Ta-da! <laughs> I think this will really help her. And it reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <gasps> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. All month long, we've been talking about how Jesus loves everyone and that if he had a party, everyone would be invited. Grown-ups. Children. Everyone can celebrate that Jesus loves them because Jesus loves everyone. And Jesus wants us to love everyone too. In fact, he said, do everything in love. Can you say that with me? Ready? Do everything in love. Oh, wow. Everything? Let's think about that. Let's say you're at the grocery store and the checkout worker seems like he had a sad day. You're done with your groceries and you are just about to leave. What could you do to show love? Try this. Can you smile and wave? Bye, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Look, he's smiling and waving back. You showed him love by being kind. Great job. Okay, let's try this one. Your brother runs into the kitchen and really wants a cookie, but you have the last one. He's upset that he did not get a cookie. What could you do to show love? Try this. Do you want some? You did it! Sharing the cookie made your brother feel loved. Great job! Okay, what about this one? You and your friend are playing in the sandbox at the park. You are having so much fun together. But you look over and... There's a kid who's all alone by the slide. They don't have a friend to play with. What could you do to show love? Yell it out. Yes, you could ask them to play. Hey, do you want to play with us? See, you are great at doing everything in love. Whether you're on the playground or at a dance class or at school or at home with your family. You can do what Jesus said and do everything in love. So let's celebrate because Jesus loves everyone. Woo! <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves everyone? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loves everyone, and we can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, Jesus said to do everything in love, and I know we can. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I can't wait for the party. I'll see you next time. Bye!
sing in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14.